But it might be difficult in the beginning, because Sack has always had help with everything. Now he has to live like an adult, and help with the house and the garden. The easy life on the farm is over. He never helped his father on the farm, or tried to learn economics and marketing. Would he handle a farm? I hate how Matt was trying to blame the kids, saying they never wanted the farm anyway or work on it. And I'm just like when they were kids slash teens. But when they started to work on it as adults they actually appreciated and did want to work on it and keep it the family and actively working on it and willingly trying to buy it. Think Matt enjoys rubbing things in his children's faces. It's mental abuse. I can only imagine how much that hurt his kids, and he has no idea. I feel like the kids are lazy and Matt knows it. And even though the mom wants them to carry on this dead tradition, they wouldn't be able to afford the maintenance on the farm. And the family dynamic has shifted. And yeah Matt's always been a little greedy. But he should be able to have a say as well. I guess when he sells it he should give them a decent percentage on the inheritance. It's sad. Because you can tell how hurt Zach really is. Matt even said he didn't want to sell the the farm to the family. Because he would still have to do all the upkeep and maintenance. He doesn't want to lose control and have to end up doing the work too. They're not turning the page. Zack is being mean to his father for the very thing his mother did. Now you will change how he shows up for his grandkids. And everyone keeps bringing it up. Seems to me they're all still interested in what Matt's doing but Amy gets a pass. Put blame where this started Amy. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Little People Big World updates.